TikTok is hungry for a piece of the AI pie. They are diving into the world of chatbots and large language models. Google is supercharging its capabilities by injecting AI context awareness into their short video recommendation. Now we got life-changing tech helping the disabled regain their mobility and that's happening because of AI. And Elon Musk's Neuralink is stepping up to the plate with FDA approval for human testing. It's gonna get interesting. And finally, Google's new voice model, Superstorm, is generating ultra-realistic voices at lightning pace. So buckle up for the AI news of the week and let's dive straight into it. So starting with TikTok, Finally, TikTok is also getting into the game of large language models by creating their own chatbot that they are gonna show on their application. TikTok said that they are testing an AI chatbot called Taco with select users in Philippines. And I was able to find this screenshot surfing on the internet that on their existing user interface, they have this small button right here. When you click on it, you can actually have a conversation with it. So what is the purpose of having a chatbot on a TikTok video application? And because it is testing, we cannot say for sure, but on the screenshot, they have an example that the chatbot says that, hey, I'm Taco, feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you find what you're looking for. So I think it could be some sort of search augmentation. It will be showing the videos which have the answer to the question that we ask. So the question is, what is the significance of the King Charles III's coronation? And maybe the Taco chatbot will give you the answer, what is the significance, and also suggest you some videos that you may actually watch to get the information correct. Moving on to the second news, Google recently merged both of their research lab, DeepMind and Google Brain into one entity called Google DeepMind. And this team actually shared their first insights on VLM named Flamingo, which is used to create descriptions for YouTube shorts. So as you can see, when you have like a video, the VLM model actually sees the video and creates a short description of it. So here it is seeing a flamingo and then it analyzes it and, and it creates this description that this is a video of a flamingo on a beach. Now, when somebody wants to see a video of a flamingo on a beach for whatever the reason is, they can just go and search for it. And even though they do not have descriptions for these videos, because of the model and the context awareness of the model, people can find it. And that actually helps a lot of people. Even the video suggests that when we have these kinds of context of our models, the audience for a particular channel can grow significantly because even if there is no context for the content, people can find it. Moving on to the third point, if you have seen the movie The Upgraded, which came out four years ago, uh, I guess in 2018, this news is exactly like that. Researchers have figured out a way to help disabled people regain their mobility just by using AI. So University of Louisiana people uh, developed this AI system that can enable a paralyzed individual to walk again. And uh, this is just a first prototype, but if you can extrapolate how AI is evolving and what near future holds for us, I think this is gonna be way more than actually helping someone in need. We can actually upgrade ourselves as well. So how does this technology work? This technology takes the brain waves from your brain and then using AI converts those waves to your leg signals that the legs understand so that without having a connection from your brain to your legs straight from your spine we can bypass your spine and still be able to walk again. The process of bypassing your spine it is called wireless digital bridge between your brain and your legs. Talking about the movie Upgraded Neuralink is the real life manifestation of that movie and they just got an FDA approval for human testing. So far they've done animal testing and they've been quite successful at it. They actually taught monkeys how to play games just by using their brain. But now they have FDA approval and now they will be able to move forward with human testing as well. So slowly but surely we are moving into that dystopian future that I grew up watching and I cannot be more excited about it. Although a little bit scary, I do have to admit. And finally, the biggest news from an academic perspective came from Google. Google just released a new research paper called Google Storm, which enables ultra realistic high resolution human voice generation based on AI, which is super fast. So this is a quick demo of it. Audio generation. Uh, so it can even be used oh yeah. to generate diet. Now, some of you may already know that we have quite a few models that can create ultra realistic human voices. So what makes Superstorm really special? And the answer is speed. Superstorm is already 100 times faster than Audio LM. Now Audio LM was another model from Google which was able to create ultra realistic human sounding voices but it was time consuming. Superstorm is 100 times faster than Audio LM. So basically it can create a 30 second voice within just half a second. 
That is really fast. Let me show you a quick demo and then explain how it works. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. So this was just a prompt of three seconds. Now Superstorm is supposed to create a 30 second version of this audio just by reading the text that is here. But it has to make it sound exactly like those first three seconds. And this is what it created. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. Oh, that's great. I've always wanted to go to Greece. What was your favorite part? Uh, it's hard to choose just one favorite part, but yeah, I really loved the food. The seafood was especially delicious. Yeah? And oh. the beaches were incredible. Oh. We spent a lot of time swimming, uh, sunbathing, and, and exploring the islands. Oh, that sounds like a perfect vacation. I'm so jealous. It was definitely a trip I'll never forget. I really hope we'll get to visit someday. So as you can see, we are able to create ultra realistic human sounding voices and that too really efficiently, really fast. Now there are a lot of bad implications of this kind of technology. Uh, there was a quick example on 60 Minute, the show, where they called the anchor of the show to ask about like the passport numbers and the audio that was so realistic that she couldn't distinguish and she just gave out that secure information over the phone without any verification. So that is kind of scary. If you find value in this kind of content, consider subscribing or joining the newsletter.